Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So my mum has a new house and in the kitchen there's this fireplace. At the moment it's just dead space and it can really use some storage. So I'm going to make some veg storage boxes out of some MDF. I had some 18mm MDF in the garage and I got that brought into the workshop. Now I'm using MDF as the carcass is going to be painted anyway. I finally got around to get myself a rail square as this should really help make quick accurate cuts. I've been meaning to get one for years. So this is a TSO one. I'll put a link down below on the tools I use page if you want to check it out. So now I can start getting the MDF broken down into the sizes I need. I hate these stickers they put on sheet goods. Now I can get this all put together. So I'm gonna get some glue applied, then get it clamped up with some mitre clamps, drill some countersunk pilot holes, and then get some screws put in. So that's it all put together. Now I can mix up some two part filler, go around all the screw holes and the joints and fill them and then give it all a sand down. I'm now going to get it painted and I'm going to use some chalk paint because that's going to match in with the other bits in the kitchen. So I'm going to get a couple of coats of this on. As it's going into a little um, alcove, a recess, I'm not going to bother doing the sides or the back because they won't be seen. And I'm not going to do the front because next job is to cut down some strips of oak and put some edge banding on. So while I wait for this to dry, I can start work on what's going in there, and that's going to be some wooden crates. So I've got loads of scraps of oak I can use for this, but they all need bringing down to the same thickness, then ripping down, then I can get them all put together with nails and some glue, and I think I'm really going to wish I still had a nail gun while I'm doing this.
So the glue's dried on this now. So now I can get the excess trimmed off, the tape removed, give it a sand down, and then I'm gonna finish it with some tongue oil. And then I can sand the crates down and finish them with the same tongue oil. These crates are going to go in and out the unit like drawers, but I don't want them to scratch up the paint. So I thought about using wooden runners, but then I thought I can just use some little leather tabs. So I'm going to get some cut, put some contact adhesive onto them and onto the crates, wait 10 minutes and then get them glued together. So that's it all together. Now through the magic of YouTube, we're gonna go down to Northampton, my mum's kitchen, and get this put in place. <sighs> now for the moment of truth, will it fit? So that's it all done. Now, just gotta fill it up with some veg. Next week, I'm gonna build a wine rack to go on top of it. So, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.